Hey there. Today I'm diving into a topic that's both fascinating and a bit mind-bending. Analog versus digital, the deep dive into reality and abstraction. These concepts seem to be everywhere in our lives, yet they often go unnoticed. Let's break it down. First up, analog. Think of it as the natural world around us, right? Imagine listening to a vinyl record. The grooves on the record are a continuous representation of sound waves. Analog data is continuous and can take any value within a range. It's smooth, flowing and essentially real. Now let's switch gears to digital. Digital is all about the zeros and ones. It's how your computer, smartphone and basically any modern tech works. Digital data is discrete, meaning it jumps from one value to another without in-between values. Instead of a smooth curve, think of a staircase. Each step is a specific value. Here's where it gets philosophical. Cynicism versus nominalism. Cynicism, a term coined by philosopher Charles Peirce, is the belief in the continuity of experience. It's the idea that reality is interconnected and fluid just like analog does. On the flip side, nominalism is the belief that only discrete entities exist. It's all about individual separate things, much like digital data. So how do these concepts relate to reality and abstraction? Analog represents reality, continuous, flowing and natural. Digital, on the other hand, is an abstraction, a simplified artificial representation of reality. It's like comparing a real-life landscape to a pixelated image. Now let's talk about autopoiesis. It's a term you might not hear every day, but it's crucial in understanding these concepts. Autopoiesis refers to a system capable of reproducing and maintaining itself. Think of a living cell. It's an analog system, continuously exchanging matter and energy with its environment to sustain itself. But in a digital world, autopoiesis takes on a new form. Software, for example, can update itself, adapt to new information and evolve over time. So why does this matter? Understanding the difference between analog and digital, continuity and discreteness, reality and abstraction can give us deeper insights into how we interact with the world and technology. It's all around us, from the music we listen to, the photos we take, to the AI systems we develop. Next time you pick up a vinyl record or use your smartphone, think about the underlying principles at play. You're interacting with two fundamentally different ways of representing the world. Thanks for sticking around for this deep dive into analog versus digital. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more mind-expanding content. Until next time, keep exploring.